Thank you so much, Nelly. I think uh, like all of you here in the audience, when you heard first time about uh, we are going to have a conference and a workshop on DHIS2, which uh, probably you may have heard as a data capture platform, like you enter data into the system of uh, teachers and students. Maybe that's, that's all what you may have known about this platform, right? But what you just now saw from Iswatini is this is not just a data capturing platform. Once the data is captured, it will give you insights. It will create dashboards for you and different visualizations so that you can see the data at different levels. So it could be at school level, any subnational level, for example, in Sri Lankan context, it could be at zonal or provincial level as well as national level. And there are immense use cases on how you can use this data. So we can learn from each other. So uh, what she presented just now is a really nice use case of how you can use the data. All right, so coming back from uh, Iswatini, uh, we at HISP are known to improvise. So uh, there were like some, some comments and some concerns raised uh, in the opening session about some of the aspects of uh, DHIS2. And in fact, like about digital systems in general, even the Honorable Minister mentioned some key, uh, key areas that we have to be mindful. And you may be asking yourself, about the data privacy. Where is this data stored? Is it uh, stored in, uh, say, for example, uh, in, in Uganda, or is it uh, stored in Sri Lanka? Or maybe is it uh, actually stored in Norway, right? Is Norwegian government having access to our own data? So you may be having all these queries, right, uh, which you, I think none of you have asked uh, from us just yet. But what we thought is, um, to hear and to kind of clarify some of these concerns that most of you may be having from someone who has been doing this exercise for a couple of years. So I think for Sri Lankan participants, uh, the next uh, speaker, actually I, I'm um, kind of putting him on the spot. Uh, we improvise. He was not really planned to do any presentations before, but we thought of uh, getting all these issues clarified from someone we, uh, who is very familiar to most of you, who is Mr. Prabhat Ariratna, he was the uh, assistant director um, at the Ministry of Education uh, up until recently. Now he's at uh, temporary at the Ministry of uh, Finance. So Prabhat, the question for you is, now some of these uh, issues that we have discussed so far or highlighted, for example, about data privacy, where the data is stored, and do we need a lot of resources to implement systems like this? You have had so many experiences in implementing systems, but which have failed to sustain. So what has Ministry of Education done so far to address some of these uh, issues? And uh, when you started implementing DHIS2 in Ministry of Education, did you take a different approach? Can you please elaborate a bit more on some of these uh, concerns? Hi, all. Uh, Thank you for giving me this opportunity to me. Uh, I am not prepared to do a presentation today. <clears throat> Anyhow, uh, in the morning, uh, you all know, uh, minister asked some questions. Uh, so all got confused, I think. So better to explain my experience, uh, which, I have done in the which I have done in the ministry. Uh, the first question is, uh, it's a kind of a traditional question. So it's, I, I am not answerable for that, uh, but it's, uh, it's like here. Uh, for the second one, uh, he asked uh, the cost, how we bear the cost of uh, this technology and all that. Uh, in, uh, when we consider about the cost, uh, actually um, in the Ministry of Education, uh, if you buy uh, some software or if you want to do uh, some development, we have to uh, have some uh, procurement. So we have to spend some money from the uh, Ministry of Education to some third party or some other uh, persons. Uh, so basically, uh, that challenge is, is with us. Uh, so uh, my, uh, in that time, my opinion is to uh, bring this uh, DHIS2 platform to the Ministry of Education. And uh, we have trained for that. Uh, so we know how to develop the things from our side uh, without uh, going for others. Uh, Initially, uh, studies lot on DHIS2 platform, and later on, we spread the knowledge in between my colleagues. Uh, uh, so they all know how to develop the DHIS2 platform and how to develop the 
things inside the DHIS2. So there's no any cost behind that. So only thing is we have to do some trainings uh, that are normally we have to do in a training in, if you buy any kind of software. So we have to do the training. Likewise, we can uh, do the trainings. We have a cost for that, but it's okay. Uh, for the last uh, question raised by the minister, uh, that is the data privacy, and also uh, Dr. Pamod also raised that. Uh, actually, <coughs> uh, my first task was uh, to uh, initiate a server in the Ministry of Education, not in any other place. So I discussed with uh, Chaminda, and uh, we first of all we uh, start a server to install the DHIS2 platform, which is uh, open source software, which we, we, even you can download in from the internet and you can install in your server or local machine. So initially in the Ministry of Education, uh, Ministry domain, we have a data center. So we install the platform in our data center and we start the developing. So the, all the data and the system are with the Ministry of Education own data center no any other place uh, and uh, anyone in car anyone anyone can't access the data into in the ministry of education so don't fear about that uh, and also i think uh, with this academy you all uh, will learn from next three days there are academy so you all can gain the knowledge so you can go forward uh, and the, another thing i want to highlight here uh, currently, I am not in the ministry. I am assigned for a, another duty for two years. Uh, but still, DHIS2 is running. Why? That is uh, kind of another uh, thing uh, you have to understand. Uh, by having a training, you can all develop this. And also, we have a community support. That is another major point uh, I have to highlight here. They are always uh, helping us to uh, do the things in our level. Uh, what, uh, what are the things uh, that we need, uh, we can ask from them, then they will help us. Within two, three days, we can have a good help with, uh, from them. And also, we have formulated some WhatsApp group. Still, I am in that WhatsApp group. So I, I am uh, seeing day to day what are the things they are discussing, and I'm actually I am uh, very happy about that. Right. Uh, so I think uh, it is not a uh, matter. Uh, you can go forward with the DHIS2 platform and uh, we can uh, fulfill the uh, data gaps in the Ministry of Education. Thank you.